Hi, my name is Adam Kissinger. I'm the vegan's boyfriend. So, today I wanted to give everybody a glimpse of the magic behind the scenes of what goes on in a vegan kitchen. I am not vegan, but my girlfriend is, which means the kitchen is. And as well as being a vegan, this also means that my girlfriend is a vegan coach. So she teaches other people how to do it. She makes videos cooking food in our home. Uh, this is normal. This is how they spread. This is how the vegans breed. So today I'm going to show you exactly what goes on behind the cleanup of a vegan video. Enjoy. So first thing that I did was I pulled all the dishes out of the sink to get myself organized here. They were not soaking in the sink, they were just sitting there overnight. No further comment on that. <clears throat> so we pulled everything out, we got everything ready to go. Now I'm just gonna rinse everything off real quick. Got some scraped on safe hand or something. And this part can go quick. You're just using your hands to scrub everything off to get all the little food bits. So I don't really know what any of this was, or what was being made last night. I mentioned that I am not vegan, so a lot of the food that is cooked here, I don't eat. I have to taste it, but don't really get a chance to eat too much. Along those lines, I'm sorry if this first video seems a little spacey, but I'm really hungry. <clears throat> Alright, so you get all the junk off the uh, dishes, you got all the junk in the sink here. Pull the trash can up next to the sink. Get the dish drainer, empty that out. Get all this junk. God, there's so much just drippy fibrous vegan crap all over the sink. All right, so you get that out so you can start with a clean sink. At this point, a lot of you may be asking yourself, well, you're gonna do all this cooking all the time if you're gonna have a test kitchen. Why don't you, you know, make the investment and get a dishwasher? Thing is, we have a dishwasher right here, but I'm not allowed to use it because it's not vegan for some reason. I'm still trying to figure that one out. <clears throat> so, the vegan thing to do is to wash everything by hand, or have someone else wash everything by hand. So, that's what we're going to do. <sighs> and at this point, uh, I'd like to say how proud I am of my girlfriend and all of her successes. But please go, go check out her videos, check out her stuff. So, what I do, I like to start with like the glasses and the cleanest stuff first. Or, oh, here's a beer can, that was my supper last night. Rinse that out, we'll recycle that. So I start with the glasses, the stuff that's already pretty clean. Give them a good scrubbing with these terrible, weak 
eco-friendly sponges. It's okay because the uh, chemical free soap doesn't really get it clean anyway. just to spread joy, just for the, uh, the love of it, but if you do feel so inclined, I have a, you know, PayPal and a, a Venmo and I'm setting up a Patreon account and all of these things, not for the videos, just so that I can go buy some more beer. So if you'd like to buy me a beer, Click the link below the thing, I don't know what's gonna happen, it'll be great. Before you start cleaning the knives and stuff like that, just to keep a sitting in.
Alright. So far so good. About halfway there. And one thing you want to keep in mind. When... Jesus Christ. Oh god. Did you ever read Goosebumps when you were a kid? Alright, we're trying to get rid of this. Kill it! Kill it! No, it's still alive. That's the thing about vegan food. It's not something that was once alive, but if you leave it set there long enough, it will come to life. Possibly how the universe was created. like this. I don't know what to do with this. I'll just kind of rinse this out a little bit and leave it on the, the, the sink here for a couple days. Figure if it's important. Figure out to it. All that good enough. All right, thing was here. Final bowl. Now you may be asking yourself, Adam, what's with that uh, pot on the stove right there? Well, that is a pot of oil. I don't know what it's for. It, we just kind of keep it there. That just stays right there, so I'm gonna let it stay right there. And when the oil gets dirty enough, you dump it away. I don't know. That's the oil pot, and that's where it stays. But so. The cats can jump up on the counter and dip their little paws in there, and then we can follow the little uh, oily paw prints all over the front. Alright. So, a lot of people start drying right, right away. I'm inclined to just let them air dry while I go to start drink. Uh, so, if you want to join me, in drinking, you can always feel free to uh, send me some beer money. Like I said, click that link below. And that about wraps it up for today. So for any other vegan partners out there, I feel ya. Hang in. The struggle is real. For any vegans that are watching, that's how you wash the dishes. Alright, thank you much. Take care.